The house is designed to be an upside down home with the main living spaces and patio located on the upper floor. Windows have been placed strategically to allow picture framed vistas with some extending into beautiful Juliet balconies. This allows the main area to have access to the best views of the home with the nature reserve on the horizon. My name is Witu Melamukonyani and welcome back to Witu Melamukonyani Studio. Today we bring you Home on the Hill. The home is 430 square meters in size, built across three levels, on an 874 square meter plot. It has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a two-car garage. When you approach the home from the southeast, you are oblivious to the size of the home. The design of the home is formed by the topography of the plot. The large incline has resulted in a floor plan that spreads across the three floors, with the main floor at the higher level. The garage is located on a lower level with a driveway sloping down from the street. This farm style home has a similar DNA to a previous home we've toured by the developer, with two linear gable end sections framing the home. A large angular glass window grabs the eye as you approach, contrasting the finished walls with the steel frame and chroma deck sheet breaking the space. The home is a mix of painted plaster and backwash finished walls. IBR roof sheeting and steel pergolas covering all the auxiliary spaces. As you walk up the semi-floating stairway, you enter the home through a large glass pivot door, landing on a large entrance foyer with the staircase leading down to the lower level. The upper floor is large and grand with ceilings giving height to the space. The home then contracts as you walk down the stairs and entrance hallways, giving you a sense of warmth and coziness in the more intimate spaces. The industrial elements continue through the interior with exposed steel elements as well as backwash finished walls bringing a lot of texture to the space. This leads you to the pyjama lounge with sliding access to the backyard. You also have an in-suit guest bedroom on this level with a corner window letting light in. It has a spacious bathrooms with bathtub, shower and double vanity. A laundry room rounds out the lower level. The gallery-like entry foyer leads you past the illuminated artwork and into the main bedroom spaces. The three main bedrooms share this level, allowing the family unit to work together on a daily basis. The boys' bedroom is large and tall, with the bed being framed by a niche in the wall and a window above. It has an in-suite bathroom with shower and vanity. It opens up to the front of the home with the street signage providing strategic privacy. The girls' bedroom, identical in layout, faces the rear of the home opening up to a corner window with shades of the nature reserve in the distance. The master bedroom has an open bathroom, living and dressing room plan. The space allows a king-size bed with a corner Juliet balcony overlooking the backyard. It has a walk-through dressing room and a hip-level storage unit that doubles as a table. The bathroom is separated by a patent glass wall that matches the light fixtures. It has a freestanding bathtub, a water closet, a double vanity, and a large shower. The upper floor is an entertainer's haven. An open floor concept includes exposed steel trusses with vaulted ceilings, giving volume to the space. 
The first thing you see as you move past the blue feature wall is a large tall dining table with vibrant bulky upholstered chairs really anchoring the space. Behind it is a sleek understated kitchen with a two-toned grey colour scheme blending it into the background. It has a two-tier peninsula with space for bar stools should one choose to add them. It is fully kitted out with a built-in wine rack, five burner gas stove and plenty of clever storage to fill. Hidden behind a partition wall is a scullery to conveniently hide the dirty work. The hanging pendant lights illuminate the space elegantly without dominating the view because of their slim design. As you look to the other end of this entertainment hall, the large gable end window brings in light to the family room, staged with a large sectional leather couch, a lush rug facing a large TV. The window also frames a picturesque view of the front driveway and rolling hills of the estate. A multi-paneled folding door leads to the outdoor space. The entertainment spaces are north facing, taking advantage of the light and heat from the sun throughout the day. The backyard begins with a cozy bright area with a pergola filtering out the sun. A large steel sliding door located at the front of the home opens and closes allowing for the flow of air into the patio space. It's quite an innovative solution that brings functionality and form to an area that cannot be an all season space. A robust steel spiral staircase brings you down to an infinity pool for the hot summers and a warm bomber for the cold winter days. An advantage to the slope of the site is the extended storage space on the third level below ground, providing multiple cellar spaces. Much like many homes by the builder and architect, this home looks to innovate ways to solve challenges, resulting in yet another unique home in its location. If you think it looks good during the day, wait till you see it at night. y'all welcome again to another video it's your boy Tumelo man we back at it again in this beautiful home I just want to say I just want to remind y'all please subscribe guys if you're not subscribed now come on what you waiting for we're doing this for you guys we're stepping up pulling up our game for you guys so please subscribe like comment tell us what you like what you don't like we up <laughs> I'm an idiot. <clears throat>